Hey there, welcome back to Work It Daily. My name is JT and today I'm going to be talking to you about the two job interview mistakes everybody makes and how to avoid them. But before I do that, I just want to remind you, if you haven't done so already, to make sure that you hit the subscribe button either down below or up here and that way you're going to get our fresh career content each and every week right to your inbox. And if you hit the bell, it'll even notify you. But now let's get down to the business of job interviews and the mistakes that everybody is making these days. So as somebody who's been in the recruiting industry for a really long time, I can tell you that most people aren't trained in interview techniques. And this is something that we really should get more skilled at. Every job is temporary today. You're going to interview for jobs multiple times in your lifetime. So knowing that this is the case, you really want to build your skills up. And both of the things that people make mistakes in that I'm going to mention today are around skill building. So the good news is that you can solve both of these really easily. So the first mistake I see people make is not prepared to answer behavioral questions. Now, behavioral questions are a technique that recruiters have been using for many years now. And essentially what it is, is asking you an open-ended question that requires you to give a story or a longer answer. So I might ask you something like, tell me about a time when you had a big problem to overcome in the office, or tell me about a time where you had to work with a difficult customer or coworker. What did you do? Um, anytime I ask you a question that requires you to go back into the history banks and share a story and come up with a conclusion, it's allowing me to understand your behavior, how you viewed the situation, how you handled the situation, and how you were able to use that information to your advantage. Now the mistake we see people make is not preparing to answer these questions correctly and therefore, when called upon to give this answer, they're all over the map. So if you've ever been in an interview and you feel like your answer got really long-winded or went off track, went here or there, then that's a sign that you weren't prepared for a behavioral question. And it's really important that you know how to do this because you want your answers to be very succinct and logical and factual. You want it to sound like, hey, I've been there, I've done, I've done that, I know what I'm doing. And so knowing how to answer those behavioral questions to convey that is very, very important. Now the second thing I'm going to tell you that you need to think about and the mistake I see people make is the fact that they don't make the interview a two-way conversation. Oftentimes we think we're there, they're the interviewer, they're going to ask us the questions and it's our job to respond. But it's not that. If you think about it, you're there to build a relationship. This is potentially somebody that you're going to work with every single day if you get this job. So that first interview is about your ability to build a relationship and have a conversation and make that interviewer feel comfortable. And so you've got to know how to do that. And one of the important ways that you do that is by asking really great questions in the interview. When you get to that point where they say, do you have any questions for us? You should be fully prepared to ask questions, specific questions that engage this person in a positive conversation that makes them feel connected to you. And when you do that, you are in the early stages of that relationship building experience and that's going to make them feel much better about you as a potential coworker. So there you have it, two tips, two skills that you really need to build so that you don't make those classic mistakes that we see everyone make in job interviews. I promise you, if you work on both of these things, your interviews are going to go much more smoothly and you're going to get a better reaction from the people that are interviewing you. All right, before you go, I just want to remind you, hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you follow us each and every week. And more importantly, if you like what you heard here today, then be sure to check out the link below. It's either down here or up there to our video called the eight ways you're being shut out of the hiring process. I can't tell you how many thousands of people have watched this video and have had major aha moments and the best part is this video is completely free. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down here, up here, get our eight ways video and start to remove the roadblocks that are holding you back from an amazing new job. All right, thank you so much for listening and lastly, let me remind you, if you wanna win, you've gotta work it daily.